Okay, we are literally right near a military base now, so maybe we should get out of here. Good morning, guys. Today we have traveled to a completely different place here in Turkey, somewhere that we're very excited about. It kind of feels like we're in a totally different world. We've traveled further east from Gaziantep, and we've come to a city here called Mardin. Actually, this city is quite cool because it's on this old hill and it's overlooking Mesopotamia. We can actually see Syria from our apartment, which is pretty crazy to think that we're this close to Syria right now. I think like 22 kilometers. I don't know, maybe in the future we'll travel to Syria. We're gonna be here for a couple days. We're gonna be exploring today just around the old city. I guess there are two different parts of the city. We are staying in the old city right now. So the new city, I'm not sure there's much to see. We're gonna go around in the old city. There's a castle, there's some old mosques and I believe some old churches as well because uh, there is some old civilizations that used to live here that were Christian, I believe. So we're gonna go exploring around the old city of Mardin. Before we do that today, I just wanna show you guys where we're staying because it's pretty incredible. So the place itself is actually not that amazing. You know, it's a pretty chilled place, it looks normal. We do have some cat friends though, which are very, very sweet. But the highlight of this place is the view. And I just wanna show you guys, I'll do a grand opening for you. Okay, you guys, get ready for this. Look at that. It's like we're in a totally different world right now. This place is so, so beautiful. And of course we have more little kittens staying with us too, which makes it so much nicer. There's a whole bunch of them over here. <laughs> Hi. And these little guys sleeping over here, keeping out of the hot sun. But yeah, I can honestly say Lauren and I have never stayed in a place like this before. It totally feels like we have left Turkey, or, or at least what we've seen Turkey to be like so far. It's like we're completely in an ancient city here in what feels like the Middle East. And looking over at the views just behind me there, way in the distance, you can actually see Syria. And this is all part of the old town here. So we're going to be exploring this whole area. And it's surrounded by these like old mountains that kind of remind me of like something you would see in the Grand Canyon almost. But yeah, as always, we got to go find some breakfast first. So we found a rooftop terrace that we're going to go check out with some more beautiful views. Probably going to look a lot like this, but we're very excited to show you guys this beautiful city here in Martin. <laughs> We literally just walked out of our apartment and already seen some cool stuff. I guess they use the donkeys to transport goods around here because the city is built on this big hill here and it must not be easy to carry things around and the streets here are very narrow as yeah. well. I'm honestly not sure that we could possibly have a better view for breakfast. That's pretty amazing. The best view. Lauren's got herself a Menemen. Mm -hmm. This is the best one I've had. It's really spicy actually. Really? Mm -hmm. I'll have to try that. Mm -hmm. I got myself a Bayran again. It looks quite different from the one that I had in Gaziantep, but I'm looking forward to that. That was one of the nicest places we've ever had breakfast. One of the best views we've ever had for breakfast. So we're just walking up to this next place here called Marden Castle. I think it's at the highest point here in Marden, so we're probably gonna get views of the entire place. And it already looks so beautiful here. The architecture is incredible. Really don't know what these places behind us are, but the architecture is unlike anything I've ever seen before. Lauren thinks it might be a school. Yeah, no, it's, it's so different to anything we've seen in Turkey so far, and it's, it's just beautiful. Everywhere you go, it's just this incredible view too. It's just really hard to like comprehend where we are right now too. This is so cool, but it is cooking. It is so hot right now. So hot. <laughs> <laughs> I need to jump in a swimming pool. I don't know if we're gonna find one here, but imagine an infinity pool here. <laughs> We've just walked up another road to the castle and I really am falling in love with these streets here. They're so unique and different. So we 
we've been given quite a few different directions on how to get up there to the castle and I'm not positive we're going the correct way. Uh, we're supposed to be over there. They told us to just come up here, but now it looks like we're going all the way around. Can't complain about the view though. This is absolutely unbelievable. We're gonna be killing you guys with these views here. That's for sure. We're so part of the adventure. So we got lost. We did some research and realized that we actually can't go to the top of the castle because it is unsafe and it is owned by the military, I guess. So we're back to the beginning. It is so hot. We're gonna go explore a few different areas. There's some mosques. There's a church here that's quite famous. And Lauren's got a cafe that she's recommended. Yeah, so that's really nice. So we'll go there after this place we're going now. I think we're also gonna go check out a museum nearby as well, an archeological museum that's supposed to be very fascinating. Lauren couldn't come in here because she is wearing a dress and not covering her knees or her shoulders, as you can see, just down there. <laughs> so I'm doing this one solo and I'm just exploring this area here, but the architecture here is so, so beautiful. I think this is a mosque and maybe an old school as well. I was reading something about for astronomy or something, but I'm not really too sure. I'm just very fascinated by all this architecture. And of course the beautiful views. So that's the castle we were actually trying to reach earlier. And we got just about on that dirt path there behind us, but we couldn't go around. We figured out it wasn't possible to do, but this is definitely a pretty good consolation prize. What a place. This is making me think of like Assassin's Creed and it's so cool. This has got to be the best place in the city to get a view of Marden. <laughs> Look at this. I mean, everywhere we've been so far has a really nice view, but I don't know, this one is special. I think it has a lot to do with these domes behind me as well. Like, just so beautifully made all together. I'm, I'm so blown away by Marden already. I think you might have missed out there, my love. Maybe, but I don't know. All the views here are glorious, so... <laughs> That's what I said as well. I said it doesn't really matter where you are, you get great views. So one thing that we've noticed here is in Marden, you'll see lots of different shops for silver, for soaps, for the wines, for all these different candies behind us. Pistachios. Pistachios. <laughs> coffee, everything. You'll find all kinds of different shops here, but the one thing that seems to be the most prominent here is the jewelry. Mm -hmm. We've seen a lot of silver and gold here. I don't remember who, but someone told me that silver here is very famous in Marden. I guess a lot of Turkish people travel here to Marden specifically just to buy jewelry. I don't know if anybody knows why that is or you know where the silver and the gold history comes from, please let us know down in the comments. So our next stop here is actually going to be this museum behind us, the Archaeology Museum. We're just gonna go in there quickly and see what it's about. We were recommended this place by our Airbnb host. She said that it's very, very nice. So let's go check it out. As I mentioned, short and sweet there with the museum. It's pretty fascinating, but we didn't want to spend too much time there. We're gonna go head off to our next place now, which is a place called 40 Martyrs Church. And I don't really know much about it, but one thing that's really interesting here about Marden as well is that there are so many different cultures, so many different types of people here. You'll see a lot of uh, Islam, you'll see a lot of Christianity here. It's an interesting mixture between the Middle East, I guess, and more European culture almost. What did you think about the museum? I really liked it. I thought it was probably uh, one of the coolest museums we've been to recently. And it's nice to see like that there's things in there even before Christ, like the prehistoric stuff. Yeah, going back like 10,000 plus years, that's pretty fascinating. We've got a few more places we're gonna go check out before we go get some food and yeah, let's go see this church. We're also gonna go to a mosque after that as well. So 
I'm not sure I'll actually be able to film inside, but it's kind of cool and also kind of strange to see Christianity represented so much in what is a predominantly Muslim region of the world. You know, I'll be honest, I don't know much about religion in general, but I guess Christianity did originate from this sort of this part of the world as well. So yeah. it says a lot of people in Mardin that are actually like some are Muslim, some are Arabic, some are Christian. So it's kind of cool to see everyone come together. said it a few times now but the cool thing about this town or city is that there's so many little alleyways and roads and they're so cute to walk down okay we've taken a detour because lauren wants to try the syriac wine here <laughs> that's really good does it taste like normal wine or different it's a little bit different okay. it's really nice it's okay strong. this one is the white wine i guess <laughs> Well, it tastes like wine to me, but this one is the rose one. Rose, yeah. <laughs> rose, okay, sorry. I'm filming Lauren and not me because she's the expert on this. Mm, that's really good. They're really strong, but they're nice. Wine is wine to me, coffee is coffee to me. I know nothing about this stuff. <laughs> it's a little bit stronger. Wow, that is strong, but that's nice. That's actually my favorite. Okay, this is an olive one. A little bit spicy. Spicy. Mm. Yeah, oh yeah, that one's really nice. I take that back. This one's my favorite. Spicy. When you say spicy, do you mean like shalgam? Uh, no. No. Like shalgam. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is more of a liqueur, not a wine, so maybe more of my flavor. And he mentioned that you said there were seven spices, I guess, if you want to repeat that. <laughs> <laughs> we have seven spices and uh, raka and whiskey. Raka and whiskey. Yes. I'll give it a try. Wow. Do you like it? That is so good. <laughs> it tastes like Jägermeister, but oh, no. Jägermeister to me is kind of terrible, but this is like good Jägermeister. Okay. It's very nice. But uh, we are putting some uh, sugar. The sugar is really mm. it's strong. Wow, that's so good. It's very good. It's not what I expected. The sugar makes it nice. <laughs> it's like syrup almost. It is, mm. yeah. But it's very good. Yeah, that's nice. If you come to Martin, you definitely have to check out this shop here. It's called Siras Suryani Sharap Chilik. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And the wines there are so good. Even I like them actually, but that, that liqueur one, bomb. Yeah, that was really good. <laughs> I feel a bit tipsy. <laughs> <laughs> he gave us like six samples, so definitely shout out to I didn't get I didn't catch his name, but go to Siras. So something that we did learn in there about the Syriac wine is it actually has nothing to do with Syria and it is more to do with these Syriac people who are, it's a type of religion, it's uh, related to Christianity, so I don't know much about that, but it's good to do some research on it, I guess. But in total contrast, we've had some wine, now we're going to another mosque. final stop for today is always my favorite stop. We're gonna go get some food. We found a place that has an incredible view over the valley, I guess. I'm not really sure what to call it. Over Mesopotamia, I think it's called. The food there is really good. We actually went there last night, but we're uh, creatures of habit and we're going back to the same place again. <laughs> So unfortunately we did not get a seat on the edge this time. Yesterday we did, but uh, today it's a little bit busier, I guess. But the view from up here is incredible. If it clears up a little bit later, I'll go over there and shoot some shots. Oh, yeah. we'll change seat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we weren't actually able to secure a spot over there, but this is the view from this terrace here. Very similar to all the views we've shown you today, but with the sunset, it is spectacular. And the smell of the food is so, so good. course, no surprise, kebab. <laughs> <Mommy>. <laughs> hey 
It's day two now and we've trekked a little bit out of the town because we wanted to come check out this really beautiful view. And um, we're at the first part of the view, but I don't know if this is actually the final part of the view. So it's uh, a panoramic of the entire city that we're staying in right here. And you can see all of the old city back here with the castle on top and the amazing rock formations are so, so beautiful. Yeah, it's really different to anything we've seen. And I guess over there, like we can't show you right now, maybe we'll show you in the second view, but you can actually see over to Syria, which is super cool. And the main reason why I think this place was even recommended on the map is because of this right behind me. It's another one of these famous city signs. Okay, so we just reached what we think here is the panoramic viewpoint and wow, don't you just get such a good view of Mardin from here, it's so cool. You can see the castle all the way at the top there and right behind us over there is Syria. Okay, we are literally right near a military base now so maybe we should get out of here. And like Lauren was saying, over there in the distance we're actually looking out at Syria. I think we're about, maybe right now, maybe 18 kilometers away from the border. And just over this hill actually, not so far away, maybe like a hundred something kilometers away is actually Iraq as well. So we learned that we're staying in the Kurdistan part of Turkey right now, which is really cool. It's a very fascinating place. I never thought that I'd be here right now. So this nice young man over here came and told us that we have to be careful where we were. And <laughs> now he's, I think he's showing us his home and maybe his family as well. <laughs> the Shekilet. kid was so concerned for us he was helping us out now he's even put us on a dolmush back to the old town i'm sure it wasn't as bad as we thought or he thought but <laughs> it's nice he's really nice yeah i can understand his worries though filming near a military base not always the greatest thing to do especially when you're this close to the border yeah <laughs> my dad would not be happy with me right now <laughs> So because we enjoyed the wine so much the other day in the store, the guy that works there recommended this little cafe, which apparently they sell the wine. So we're gonna go inside now. Apparently it's really cute inside. Not so positive if this is actually the same wine as the place we went yesterday but the guy here says that he makes this wine himself and it's very tasty oh, this makes me a very happy lady i have my glass of red wine and it's what do you have awesome there wine. they described it as like mint but not mint and then they said it's basil so mm. apparently it's minty flavored i don't know where the pink comes from but yeah curious i read it's a traditional drink in it's so refreshing. Is it? It's actually really nice. I can taste the basil. It's like a, a pesto oh, yeah, drink. That's really good. Wow. <laughs> it's very refreshing. It's nice. And it's really cute in here. It's like a little cave and there's all these decorations. And... The dental chair, which is my worst nightmare. It's always nice to find unique places like this. You can't have wine without the cheese. final stop of the day and one of our final stops of this trip to Marden is this nice little restaurant here called Han Mutfak Sanatlari. <laughs> My pronunciation is always so terrible. It has another pretty cool view here looking over at the valley. I still don't know what to call it but looking out over at the beautiful view here. <laughs> yeah and we got some chi kofta which we tried in Istanbul I didn't think we would have it again, so that's quite nice. Yeah, and we didn't have to pay for it either, which is always nice. Freebie. <laughs> the first thing that we ordered here today is called Le Beignet Chorbasa, or Le Beignet Soup. As always, I actually don't know much about what it is, but it's got some, what looks like rice, some chickpeas, some different spices and seasoning. It's supposed to be quite good, and I guess it's very famous in Gaziantep as well. I wanted to try it for a while. I think it's more like a bit creamy soup, like a white cream soup, but let's see what it tastes like. This is also a meal that I've wanted to try for a while now, and I, I saw it on a few menus, but I didn't know what it was called, and luckily this place we're at right now has a picture menu, so <laughs> I think it's like some sort of rice with lamb. This looks like a dolma, like a stuffed pepper, 
I think that's an Ichla kofta. And then some bread and some sauce again. Yeah, it looks really good, this one. And I don't know the name of mine, to be honest, but it's meat, it's rice, it's deliciousness on a plate. <laughs> 